Hello traders, my name is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com and in this video I will share my latest trade in the futures market in the commodities world in gold. I will walk you through the steps that led me to buy uh, and to initiate a trade in gold and I will share also my exit strategy and basically my trailing strategy. So first of all, I wanna make sure that everybody's on the same page. I do use a few indicators on the charts and I do use quite a few moving averages, four in total. I use the 200 simple moving average, which is red. I use the 20 simple moving average, which is blue. I use the 50 simple moving average, which is green. And the only exponential moving average, which is pink, and it's the 10 exponential moving average. Other than that, I use volume and I also use the William percent R and I use candlesticks, candlesticks that light us the way to successful trading. All right, so let me share my thoughts of how I have initiated this trade. First off, a little bit of analysis. So this trade and basically throughout the month of October, I have noticed that the price action is stabilizing into a congestion area. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and as you can see here, we had one, two, three, four candles into this area. Now, this area is also support that is deriving from prior price action, where we have had a double bottom formation. First bottom that was formed in February 2023, and the second bottom that was formed at the beginning of March of 2023, so with this year. So from this point on, this bottle, this double bottom sustained a really massive move to the upside, almost nearing, almost nearing uh, 2100, right? It stalled at the 2050 area, and then it pulled back, it created a new high, sending the price right into this peak of 2085.4. Obviously, the uh, resistance zone is into the 2100. And from this point on, that happened this spring, the price action chopped around into this area and gradually started to move lower. However, if you take a note, off of the weekly chart. This is nothing else but a big burst and then a big sloppy sideways range with support into the uh, 1613 and resistance into this peak. This is the highest point that we've had, that we've had other than the one in this spring. And uh, this high is in 2078.8. This high right here, 20, uh, this high right here, we have 2085.4. But this is a huge uptrend. So this is a base within an uptrend. So what that means is that this is basically a stage uh, three type of trade. The stage one is the tentativeness stage where uh, we basically stock for trades. This in uh, many ways is very similar to this stage three. And uh, we had this big, this big rally. This is the accumulation phase. So this is where you buy every single type of pullback. Now, this is also a strategy here to buy the bottoms. And this is one of the reasons why every single bottom was bought, bottom was bought, bottom was bought. This was a pullback. And of course, uh, this happened in 2022 when we had the pullback uh, into the uh, downtrend. The market was downtrending. Everything was downtrending at that time. And then the price action got hooked into the 200 simple moving average and then rallied again. And this then this time around, take a look at where the price is trading right now. OK, so uh, not right now, but at this point in time, it tapped onto the 200 simple moving average. So keep this in mind, because this is going to be a huge contributor to our trading. The low of this candle is 1815.3. So the low of this candle has tapped on October 2nd of 2023 into the 200 simple moving average. Now we know that there's a very strong reaction when the price comes to revisit the 200 SMA on any type of higher time frame. So keep that in mind in your trading strategy. If you're getting a pullback on the one hour, look for a rotation at that point. You're getting a pullback on the daily. 
Keep in mind a rotation at that point, even when the price is pulling back into a 15 minute uh, time frame, uh, you could also get a rotation at that point. So first of all, this is what I was talking October 2nd. I saw that the price action was holding the 200 simple moving average. So therefore, here I here we go again. This is the October low that we were talking about, and this is the tap into the 200 SMA. So not only that we had support from prior price action from this double bottom, but we also have that support that was coming back here from the weekly chart from the tap into the 200 simple moving average. So at that point, I was looking for a buy opportunity. Now, before we continue, I wanna share something very interesting. Every single time the price action gets extended, I look for squeezes. So what that means is that if the price action is extended enough from, especially from the 10, but also from the 20 simple moving average, I like to take the squeezes back into, uh, for example, these two moving averages, and these two moving averages will represent my target areas. So, I got into this trade on the 6th because I, my first clues were aside from the fact that we were sitting on support, I never buy on support because I like to buy on a confirmation of a projection higher. So that means that I'm looking for a buy setup. A buy setup is when a green candle takes out the prior candle high. Now here we had four indecision bars. In fact, we have three indecision bars because the fourth is the trigger bar. So we had the slow tap into that 200 simple moving average. We had an inside bar. And once we had this inside bar, I was stocking this for bullish. I was stocking gold for a bullish run, at least into the 10 EMA, at least into the 20 SMA, the 50 SMA, the 200 SMA, and into prior highs. So at this point, I had an entry right here of 1845. That is my entry. I will show you in a little while. So 1845 was my entry. The stop went below this low right here. Why? Well, again, because we had the pivot low right here into the 200 simple moving average, and that provided confidence that this pivot is likely to hold due to the fact that we are uh, we are located into the 200 SMA plus we have the double bottom formation here so that seems to me like a really good opportunity to get long now at this point I didn't really have high hopes that the price action is going to really hit very quickly the 10 EMA the 50 SMA uh, obviously the 20 SMA the 200 and then rally higher I was only hoping and I got into this trade only for a squeeze point one and point B right here. And in fact, here we had another massive confluence zone. Um, this was again, one of our other targets because we had another prior pivot low and this was our other target. So this had a confluence target right here. So we had the 10 EMA and we have the 50, uh, 20, uh, we had the 10 EMA and the 20 SMA with targets. So I got in on that uh, 1845 level, my stop went below this low right here. And actually I did, uh, I, I did have a wider stop into the 1800. So I gave it a little bit of room, like with everything that I do these days is because I want to stay in the trade. I want to have more winning trades than losing trades. And this is a way that keeps me in forever in the trade. And it creates a lot more sustainability. Remember one thing, to me, if I have tight stops, I'm gonna have tight profits, and if I have wide stops, I'm gonna have big profits. So uh, other than that, uh, I guess this was a lucky kind of uh, um, environment for gold here, but only for gold, uh, because this is the reason why we uh, profited on this trade so much is because we have the Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict pop up on the radar that shot gold higher. Gold being uh, obviously a uh, safe haven, right? So um, gold literally gapped up. We immediately, you know, look to see how we can trail this uh, trade. And basically what we saw here is that not only that we had a big projection higher and the reason why we were looking, uh, you know, for a way to trail this and as the conflict amplified, gold was running and running and running and running higher and higher. 
All right, so at this point, we had a massive resistance. We were paying attention not only to the moving averages that I've mentioned before, but we were paying attention to the prior pivot highs as possible areas of rejection, of price rejection. So at this point in time, we were like, wow, this is actually running uh, running right above of the prior pivot high here into the 19 uh, into the uh, into the 1990 and it's actually driving the price even higher so it's it's just tremendous here so this candle right here that you see with the topping tail all right so once we saw this candle that was running uh very close to the 2000 we had a target into the 2000 we saw the reversal that was happening and we actually exited the trade uh into this reversal pattern so when we saw the top topping tail for typically a topping tail suggests that the area is visiting or revisiting a prior resistance and there are some sellers that are uh, at that point in time so this is where we exited the trade more so we wanted to see how we will trail this trade so let me walk you through my trailing strategy for this trade because we had such massive bars in play, I decided to trail, and by the way, this is a daily chart, I decided to trail uh, not only tight, but also with a system. And the system that I've applied is the one bar strategy. The one bar strategy shows me that if the price action would actually take a prior low, for example, that would actually create a sell. So uh, once I got into the trade and once I saw the price action moving higher, the next day I would raise my stop below this low. And so on, it kept me in the trade. You could see here, it kept me in the trade almost like forever. And here, when I saw that topping tail and I had intraday, uh, intraday signals that the price action is exhausting, uh, and I also had my William percent R into an oversold area, we took profits quickly. All right, so I just want to show you very quickly uh, as a wrap. Uh, this is the trade where we exited the trade. This is actually image from the executed trade in my portfolio. So you can see this is the entry where this is the entry where we actually got in. This is where we exited, and you can see here that we trail literally bar by bar all the way to successful uh, pivot uh, to that prior pivot to this prior pivot high. And this is what kept us uh, into the game. This is our entry. The 1845 is our entry. The 1995 is our exit. And this is my return on that trade. We made 8.13% on that trade. So very happy, very successful trades. And we only traded that with four contracts. This is it for uh, this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want, you could visit my website. I trade live with my traders every single day. Uh, www.tradeoutloud.com. If you tab on our services, free to, uh, free to come into my trading room. This is the Futures Live trading room. The trade was, trade, was traded there, was called in market hours and it was trailed as well so thanks so much everybody i hope to see you soon and i hope this strategy will help you along the way make a lot of money